I don't know how to feel about that one. A sign it wasn't meant to be, maybe. Give up while I still have my dignity. Definitely in the grand scheme of things. That probably doesn't even lose that much time. What, maybe a minute and a half? Almost forgot. Autopiloting past that is very easy. It is a very large amount of sorcery. This is not a short run. Fortunately, it's not low percent druid levels of sorcery. There won't be any any bird farming, but uh, it is going to go some places. There's a lot of parts of this that are barely possible. In particular, Fragile Heart and Long Nail um, make a lot of things possible, especially with Dreamgate. First, I guess maybe third of the run is just um, like extremely compact geo and uh, essence farming. So you actually have to buy a ton of stuff in order to just get set up. You need lantern for fighting dream warriors. You need to buy fragile heart and a bunch of mask shards. Nail upgrades. All the setup for multiple 8 HP shade skips at the end. Oh, that's not good. 
I went out of my way to get the Geo for, um, for Crossroads Stag, and then I forgot to open the Stag, which is something I've done before in low percent. And arrived at VS with so over 50 Geo and nothing to do with it. I don't think it's a huge deal, um, not having the stack at this point. Definitely not worth resetting over compared to what's going to happen closer to the end. I might have wanted Soulcatcher, right? I'll have a chance to come back for Soulcatcher. That was a very nice first bit. Sometimes you can get like that cursed first bit where he throws the ball balter all the way into the back wall, but that was that was too good to turn up. Definitely one of the scary things about suggesting any sort of restriction category in Hollow Knight is that um, you can basically get infinite essence as soon as you have Resting Grounds access, which is essentially the beginning of the game. And so anything to avoid the, uh, the bird farming gap. But luckily Dash is actually enough to get about um, probably close to 1100. 1100 essence or so without uh, farming random drops. Like in this run we're skipping Marmu, which is accessible but really painful with just Dash. Crossroads Stag would be that I could have taken this bench here. Um, before Hornet, but uh, now I don't quite think I can. Instead, I will have to endeavor to not die to Hornet. And maybe even heal afterwards. Ooh, that could have been a double if I jumped. So like half of the accessible relics are in the left side of the map. Whoops. So that's why I'm not leaving. <laughs> so 
So yeah, what, what I would have done if I remembered the stag is bench at Greenbath Stag and quit out here. And getting that health refill is especially nice because you do have to damage tank to get the green path seal. May as well go ahead and heal. Yeah, the first route I came up with it for this needed 4600 GL, which is... Ooh, that's annoying. 4,600 is a ridiculous amount, even if you do have Claw, let alone without. Okay, this is sketchy. I think I'm gonna go up here and get a free heal off of this guy uh, before I continue, because that was a little too sketchy. sort of awkward routing because you do have to come back here for no eyes, but by then you're already past the 1800 geosync. Oh. I, d I don't like that kind of geo routing. Like there's sort of a, a happy medium where you have to get like maybe six to eight relics, but not, you know, go to the point where you're just farming enemies for geo anyways. Like 30,000 GL is, uh, gets to sort of a silly point where it's oops, not really, um, not really a matter of routing as much because you, you can't even possibly get, get that in relics. You gotta do, uh, pick your favorite farm spot. Which is not to say that it wouldn't have potential to be an interesting run still. Uh, wait, yeah, I'm gonna quit out from this Borg Seal, I think. I think that'll be fastest. for the raid. How is it going? Is Claw fully optional for what? To beat the game? Uh, Claw is not optional. To get Shake Look, uh, we will not be getting Claw in this run. Uh, yeah, you can't even get close to completing the game without Claw, unless you do major glitches. Even then, um, the 
so, uh, like, in fact, all three dreamers are inaccessible without Claw. You can, you can do a lot of beast stun, um, with wings, but even, even like in Rando, if you go to beast stun with wings, you can't get to Hera, so it would require shade skipping twice. You can't dream gate in there. Yes, there will be quite a bit of shade skipping to, um, to do this. And actually, the end of the run will lead to soft locking in Abyss, so it is, um, because of the hard save at Shake Look, it is a point of no return. You have to Dream Gate in the room uh, to do your second Abyss Shade skip to get there. get shape look, which clearly outweighs any uh, any soft lock concerns. Horrible cleanup. <laughs> to be quite honest, there are, are several uh, gore brain skips on this route. <laughs> Um, I guess it, it sort of depends on, um, like, how aggressively you want to classify stuff. Like, um, the Ancient Basin Bench is, a uh, already a soft lock, barring, like, some insane low FPS, uh, hidden station skip. Like, where you crank down your FPS to 0. .0001 and, uh, whoops, take knockback off of a shade fireball to get up there. Alright, so that was basically the template for the next five or six shade skips. Actually, that's probably lowballing it. There's probably way more. Yeah, you can do a lot with lag and MG, but um, th this run doesn't have any of that, fortunately. Um, also, it's kind of hard to actually abuse uh, because our our NMG rules don't allow you to uh, to use like uh, external software to modify the frame rate. So either, uh, or at least not mid run. Like, you can have a frame cap like I have, but um, uh, I can't like turn it down to 60 for 5 seconds to do Explosion Boko or anything. Mm -hmm. Yep, you can do the Soul Totem, you can do, hit the lever through the floor. In fact, you can hit both of those still on current patch, even unmodified. They only fix the City of Deers um, lever. Is the Soul Totem useful? Um, uh, Dream Nail doesn't re reset Soul, so you could do it if you wanted the extra Soul. It isn't strictly necessary because it is a little slower to jump there and hit it, and you have like similar trade-offs for getting soul off of enemies in King Station, but uh, it is a very cool strat, which is um, definitely in its favor. I like to do it in all skills when you um, I uh, have to walk by there and straight into uh uh like um what am I saying? Straight into uh city instead of doing dream nail. Well, I think this is the wrong side to start with. I think that if you start with the other side, you clear this route slightly faster at the end. 
due to a, um, this one, yeah. That one's tricky to get without cloth, which I discovered yesterday in my, um, I did a, a test of this, which got about halfway through, uh, before I realized that there was a skip in Ancient Basin that I had not fully considered. And I have since, um, mostly considered it. It was the, um, it's like on the way to a uh, broken vessel, you know, there's this, um, like the last Moloch on the bottom floor and you have to pogo the, uh, shadow creepers to get up the wall. Like that's how you get up with wings. And you can do something pretty similar to get up, uh, with just ash, but it requires the, uh, the one on the left wall and the one on the right wall to uh, be aligned in their cycle. And so the first time I tested it to see if it was possible, uh, like I just made a save state right next to it and uh, and tried, um, and, and it just worked with the save state right next to it. But then the problem which I discovered in my run y yesterday, uh, which ended there, <laughs> um, is that... Uh, they're on a global cycle the moment you enter the room, which means that uh, by the time you get there, they've been going up and down their walls for 30, 30 seconds, and they're just completely out of sync. So uh, the solution was, oh, wait another minute, and they get back into sync. And that is obviously not something was ever going to figure out while the timer was running. But so, hopefully, it will work, because it is already a really painful skip before, um, before it becomes completely missable. And the worst part is, because you can't reset the room if you fail it, and it's before Dreamgate, um, your only option at that point is to, uh, hold on, I think this might work if I reset the room. Yeah, your only option is not only to reset, but you have to get back to Basin, which means you have to do the, um, like the Nail 1 Fireball Shade skip again. And you can't bench in Basin, so that means oops, two more trips down from Ging Station to set it up. So it's like a few minutes every time you want to try it. Oh no, we, we are doing that skip. We just aren't going down to Basin yet. Uh, no, you can't poke at the sign there. That was a randomizer change before the platform was added. Um, but the the reason why randomizer changed it in the first place is that on one two two one, you can uh, lure the husk or the royal husk sentry all the way over, whereas on one four three two, you cannot. It's still possible on one four three two by shade skipping, but that would be really slow. Yeah, there's actually a number of trade-offs between 1221 and 1432 1, for this. Like, you had the obvious one, like inventory dropping, and what I just explained, but on the flip side, I had to walk by zero earlier, um, and that was because on 1432 you can pogo the objects next to zero to get up to this platform. On 1221, you cannot, which means that our only way to get to zero is to go through Crystal Peak. There is some bizarre stuff in this. Fortunately, it's like Crystal Peak is a really small detour. Yeah, I almost just reached for my mouse to bench warp. Rando muscle memory runs very deep. Um. 
Ooh, I forgot how slow Dirtmouth Stack is without Claw. I guess it's only like a second slower, but it definitely feels a lot worse riding the elevator. Alright, time for some Whispering Root action. That's right, it's everyone's favorite Ancestral Mound Whispering Root. So like, like I said, the original route for this um, that I had in mind was to uh, fight Marmu, which is just horrible. You have to get Dashlash to, uh, to fight Marmu, which is 800 Geo and an extra Shade Skip in Kingdom's Edge already uh, from King Station Bench, so that's super slow. Then once you get into QG, you have to quit out at the lever because you softlock there. Uh, then you still have to do some absolutely nightmarish skips to get all the way up to Marm. Ooh, that was... why did I hit the Vengefly? That was dumb. I may have to do two trips on this route now. Whoops. But anyways, Marmu got cancelled, and so now instead we're doing, uh, three Whispering Roots. as well as some Spirits Glade Ghosts, which is dubiously faster, but uh, it, is all, it is probably less painful than QG would be. Whoops. So basically, long story short, um, I'll go ahead and pick up Soul Country here. For every, uh, oh no, I guess I need a bench life for that one too. For every orb we don't get here, that's an extra round of dodging Ravik. So uh, it is very important to uh, try to get all of these orbs. Speaking of which, where did I leave the bench fly? Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to do two trips here, and I think I will, just because I I would rather not do extra Revic. Hmm. Oh, very nice. That was that was a pretty big brain damage boost on the first one. And I'm glad it paid off. The orbit box is pretty generous, I think, all things considered. It could be a lot worse. So that almost got everything. It didn't get that one, uh, and I do think I will actually choose not to uh, <laughs> not to redo everything just for one more orb. Oh, hey, Feligna. I was I was like laser focused on that route, so I I completely missed you. But hello, and thank you for the raid as well. But uh, why not get a different route? There are only three routes that are fully accessible uh, without Claw. Those are the ones in Resting Ground Spirits Glade and Ancestral Mound. Like the ones that are partially accessible, like we're talking two orbs maybe, like the one in Mantis Village. So yes, Essence Drop would be absolutely wonderful. It would, uh... Well, 
<laughs> it would make my life a lot easier. Um, as it is, Spirit's Glade will all actually be guaranteed two trips. Um, I actually wanted to go drop down and get the lever here because I think this is the faster route to come back to repair Cradle Heart later. I also don't know if those can break the way uh, the QG levers do, so I, that's why I waited in the rim. But yes, we will be returning to uh, repair Fragile Heart because uh, it's required for the. Um, the shade skip I'm doing in Kingdom's Edge, and that's the only way I know how to do that shade skip. It isn't required for a shade cloak, but the shade cloak one is really painful. With only three. sort of a luxury to not having shaman when you can't can't double a boss anyway so you just get to use vs whenever you feel like it oh that was a double i stand corrected So this should put me back at um, yeah, Kings. I'm just going to go to Queens. And uh, the route is basically get 900 essence with some really janky stuff and, uh, and then go get Kings Brand and Jig Cloak. Dream Gate is the only remaining component. I need to do those skips. And that's just mainly because. Um, you have to do multiple consecutive shade skips. I actually that's not completely true. I just lied. I do need an extra mask um, on top of everything else, but no eyes is gonna give my second mask shard and then I'll get the third and fourth off of Sly. Oops. Help. This is a few new skips, I think. Although I think most of them were generally known, except for maybe the one in Kingdom Sedge. Uh, yes, we need an 8 HP shade skip. Uh, one, one hard required 8 HP shade skip, and one shade skip that's much easier with 8 HP. Um, you can't even get 12 mask shards without claw. I think you can get like maybe 10 or 11 with this, with bird farming. But uh Yeah, that's that's another story. Such a rude boss. I think that I will choose to heal on three for this. This no eyes scares me. It's like she always chooses to teleport when you don't want her to and vice versa. Like, that corner position was just horrible for me. And of course she stays for six hits there. Oops. Any percent would be fine. 
I do need to um, to get back into de-rusting a bit on that, so I'd be happy to do an 80% run. Or even a Mr. Mushroom run, which is just any percent plus 15 minutes of nonsense at the end. Oops. I was sipping tea. I don't think the best bop is happening in 2020. It might happen in 2021 once real life decides to uh, slow down a bit. Frankly, getting to Watchers is uh, very sketchy on uh, on one two two one. I'm not even sure it's possible on one four three two because of the change to the Watcher Knight room. But uh, yeah, that's a very tall vertical shaft. Like, I don't think that's possible. Yes, the detour was to get back to zero, and I forgot to equip Soulcatcher. Like, for all the fights where Soulcatcher would have been useful. You hate to see it. You have to be very careful not to fall off the platform, because that would be a really tragic thing to happen. stag back to resting grounds. You cannot pogo back up on this patch. That is a current patch exclusive. I mean, in principle, you could leave your shade alive in the Watcher Knight arena. But, um, oops, there's no way you're getting enough pogos off of the shade in order to get up that. Um, yes. I had to like refamiliarize myself with where I am and what I'm doing. Yeah, like even even if you brought like an eight HP shade in there, uh, you're not even getting halfway up that shaft. Like, after the first jump, you make very slow progress up with the shade. today. But now I actually need to die. You don't want to die over on the other side of the room because then um, then your shade spawns out of reach. It's a really sad thing to have happen. And that's true, I did just parry Revic three times, but I died at the end. Does that count or not? Hmm. We need to get a bingo committee in here to adjudicate. Fortunately, all is forgiven. You love to see it. Oh, could you not? Could you not? <laughs> Unbelievable. That was so rude. Oh god. 
I really... Yeah, that was horrible through and through. I don't know what I was doing. I sort of started panicking because it had taken so long. Ooh, hopefully that's close enough. That could be really awkward. Like, the Geo isn't too important because the Glade Idol will be good enough for the rest of the run in any case, but uh... Yeah, that Shade Skip is a little scarier. Uh, originally I had already gotten the 6 mask, mask for it in my route. Let's see if the Shade decided to be nice. That sucks. Now, why this room has like three different shade shade spawn locations? Who knows? Yeah, the only way to kill Revic is to kill all the ghosts first. Which won't be happening even in this run. Um, I only missed one orb in uh in Ancestral Mound, so I need uh, five ghosts plus however many orbs I don't collect off of the root in here. Okay, that was that was horrible. Um, I'm just gonna quit out and try again. Yeah, I, I don't know why I'm trying to do that. Uh, like. Pogo first. You gotta get a parry off of this for it to have any chance of working. Which is part of the reason why it's so scary, because obviously fishing for a parry over the water like that is really hard, but yeah. So yeah, this has already been really costly in terms of time, because I could have just already turned in my Essence Seal and bought Mask Shards and made this skip completely free, but, uh, I did not do that. Alright, beautiful. So we will be very careful up here not to fall down, because that would be embarrassing. This trip, I am not even going to bother farming ghosts, I think. Though I was killing it with the. Whoops. I was killing it with the uh, Revic berries earlier, but I don't feel super confident. At least, not enough to. Um, not enough to uh, want to commit to that. So that probably means I will shade skip here again after uh, Lost Kin and finish off my essence that way. You can see I need what 15 more. I'll get get a little closer with these last few orbs, but probably still need 10 or so. It's actually a little better, even. <laughs> yep, so that was all. All for now. Uh, I could probably just hit the split button if I wanted to, uh... to get that last orb. So yeah, Revic is definitely like the worst part of this essence route, and might even be worse than Marmail. It's kind of hard to say, because I, I didn't play that well at all, right? Like, I think I spent four minutes just trying to set up the Shade Skip, but uh... What can you do? 
Hello, Nader. There is some nonsense going on here. All the stream gate is very cursed, and the splits are sort of hinting that the uh, most cursed part of Glala's stream gate has not yet Velmi even appeared. Kachail, Velmi Ardrit, Velmi Helmadoka. Uh, th that split there is actually to um, set the timer so that I can check it in that room with the horrible uh, Shadow Creeper cycle I was talking about earlier. Yes, this is this is a new category idea. I think I will be able to get Conra to run it and about nobody else. I just took a small bath in tea. Do you hate to see it? Uh, what is the category called? Uh, right now it's Klaus Shakebook. Because that is exactly what it is. Uh, this is, um, I brewed uh, chai tea right before starting the run. Oops. Oh, oh, you know what that is? Um, I left the nail one auto split in there, I think. Thank you for pointing that out, though. Okay, so now the fun begins with um, the many trips to Basin. We'll see if I see if I get up to Broken Vessel before the hour mark. I think this is the worst part of the run right now for me. I think I feel kind of confident in Kingdom's Edge. Whereas I I am marginally confident in uh in Basin. I assure you, this is infinitely more of a meme than low percent. It's it's not even close in that regard. Ooh, I wonder, wonder how far down you can lure the uh, husk sentry in that room. If you could maybe get a couple of the orbs off of the whispering root. Oh, whoops. I meant to be doing some damage boosts. Normally you, you can't get any because uh, they're all way too far up. Oh, camera please. Let's not drop any dashes. if I dropped the dash at the very end like that. That's really embarrassing. Uh, not getting that bench because that bench is a permanent soft lock. Basin is unescapable. So... That would be uh, a very, very tragic way to end the run. Unfortunately, it means that the skip has an absurd walk back, and you can't uh, can't save your place in basin afterwards. So if you mess up anything, 
It is back to the beginning. Shade did not die, which means that this is recoverable, even though I choke that about every way possible. Sometimes if you hit the spikes, the shade will follow you into them, which is not recoverable and is quite sad. Uh, hello? How did that not hit him? That must have been too low, I guess, but that's certainly weird. But yeah, something very nice is that with Nail 1, um, because technically we could not do Nail 1 and just do this with 8 masks, but with Nail 1 and 6 masks you get 2 hits on this shade skip, which makes it much more lenient. in here. So the next room is just a nightmare and it's on a cycle, which is why I'm going to do the full recharge in here, even though it's wasting time really. Go for the skip at 120. And if it doesn't work, it will be very sad. This is a real iconic moment, to be quite honest. You're right, I should go drop down and check base and simple key. It could be Mantis Claw. <laughs> Thank you, Jenkar. I appreciate that. Beautiful. First try. I'm, I'm so happy about that. I was really worried I was going to mess that up. It's so easy to forget to dash your fireball. And so that's, that's also why it's so important that they're aligned. Oops. Because if they aren't aligned, then um, if they they aren't aligned, then you do the three bogos on the first one, and the other one is at the top of its root, and you just fall down and are very sad.
So fortunately, this would suck if it were just with the pea shooter, but we do have nail one, so... I don't think these fights will be too bad. You get infinite tries on Lost Skin, of course, so it's not even an issue. If I die to Broken Vessel, then I... Broken Vessel with six masks and nail one, then I deserve everything. True, it, Broken Vessel is still harder than Lost Skin. We all know that to be true. Tragically, wings are not obtainable. Um, even though you can get all the way up there, uh, that last jump, nothing to Shade Skip off of, nothing to Pogo off of. Wings are completely fake. So we are just here for the essence. Well, if anyone has anything more creative than a Clawless Shade Cloak, I am all ears. Like, honestly, just for the insane density of ridiculous skips, like, I'm I'm just in love with the idea of this category, even if it completely sucks to run. Or, actually, I should say, really, the point of this category is that it completely sucks to run. Alright, let's all be honest here. Claw for Wraiths, um, but you probably do need low FPS for it, or extra masks. Uh, I think a few people have clips of doing the Shade Skip to get up there. Yeah, so Clawless Abyss Shriek is definitely possible. Alright, 895. Low FPS increases your knockback from enemies. So there's a lot of stuff that is you know, basically impossible unless you have um, unnaturally low FPS. Um, I may do the the baby thing and actually no, I was going to say I may do the baby thing and go get the Grave Digger Ghost from Dirtmouth, but actually I think that five essence is easy enough. Um, I think I will go get a uh, Dream Wielder though, because Dream Wielder will make getting these last few a little bit more pleasant. Yes, it is the return of Revic. It was not enough Revic the first time. I think we can all agree on that one. One Revic is not good enough. Uh, Lost Skin is done. We got the uh, the 895 off of it. So we just need five more Essence. And that is what we are here for. That is so cursed. <laughs> I, I think I could have reacted to that, but... <laughs> I just 
decided to play it safe with that extra fireball stall and got absolutely punished for it. Uh, CG2? I would think so. Maybe. Um, there are a couple of sketchy things in Upper Crystal Peak. Oops. Ooh. Oh no. Oh, he's gonna despawn. No. Oops. No, oh, whoops. Yeah. I... Oh, crap, I'm just completely off on the timing of this. Beautiful. Well, please let me come get my Geo back. Oh no. <laughs> I was not worried at all. Like I, di I didn't realize how bad my health situation was until <laughs> after spawning in Remick. Uh -huh. <laughs> so originally this idea was Clawless Trader Lord, because in fact you can get to Trader Lord, uh, or to the Trader Lord Shade Gate with no vertical. But um, Clawless Trader Lord ended up having to get scrapped purely because you can't escape Abyss after Shade Cloak. You end up uh, locking your dream gate and your hard save there. So, also, <laughs> as is clearly becoming evident, this run is already uh, nightmarishly long. Even, uh, even without doing Traitor Lord. Honestly, I do think there is something poetic about uh, killing all the ghosts in Spirit's Glade to go trap yourself in Abyss forever. It's like a genocide ending for uh, Hollow Knight. Um, a Dung Defender can't be reached without Claw. I am Fluke Marm and Soul Master. Everything dive blocked. Uh, let's get all the way over before we take any unnecessary risks. Alright, so. Rip to, uh, <laughs> rip to Fragile Heart. We will see it again later. Let's hope I don't fail this uh, Shade Skip because I can reset the room if I don't kill the Shade, but if I do kill the Shade, we'll be very sad. Killing the Shade is not something we want to have happen. I forgot to dream gate before, but actually I'll do it now. Uh, whoops, is that too close to the wall, I guess? Oh, please let me get this off. Alright, I will dream gate when I return to the room. <laughs> what a mess. 
So attempt number one did not go well because the shade decided to follow me a little too slowly so I couldn't get the damage boost off in time. But really, seeing data. Okay, let's um, let's pull the shade back to its leash. Hello, thank you. And let's get the hopper back so I can actually get enough soul to do the skip. Beautiful. That was faster than I expected, honestly. Even with having to reset the room. So this is reason number one why Dreamgate is required. Just getting up to this room is the single hardest part of Edge. Everything else is pretty simple. Actually, the Aspid Pogo to King's Brand is like sort of a joke after. Oops. Oops. Let's not completely, uh. completely space out on the Shade Skip, but, um. Yeah, I put it down immediately because I was so scared of uh, of messing it up. Oh, please. Please don't get stuck on the geometry. Please, please, please. Oh, it was so cooperative. I swear, the Aspid was so cooperative when I tested this. Like, it was like 20 seconds to get up there. This is just rude behavior. The primal aspects I know would never be this rude. All right, let's uh, let's reset and dream gate back. And we will see if the aspects feel like being more cooperative this time. Uh, you can set up a shade skip here, but obviously doing the Aspid Poco would be faster if they wanted to cooperate. Oops. Alright, a little bit lower. No, no, a little bit lower, please. I just can't believe the stuff I'm having to put up with right now. Yeah, I'm just going to, uh... <laughs> just gonna reset, I'm not gonna wait on the far one. It has decided to go low. Oops, that was unfortunate. No, no. Alright, this 
this is a little too high. Let's get him down. Yeah. Down. No, down. Down. Yes. Perfect. Now up. Up. No, up, 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 up. Yes, like that. No, like this. So close. It, like, if it drifts a unit higher. Then we're, we're just done. <laughs> it's like the whole point of the Aspid AI is once they're higher than you, they drift up. And while they're low, as long as they're lower than you, they drift down. I'm so tempted to up slash, but I only have four slashes on this guy. All right, this one should be easy. Please. Yes. Oh. Now this is the last hit. All right. So that was a huge pain. Yeah, I don't have that much faith in my Hornet 2 fight. skills is not my preference for a tournament, but... Who knows? I would think about it. <laughs> nice 11 minutes, but... Now, dab tourney, that's, that's a whole nother thing. Actually, I think a dab vanilla tourney would be a lot of fun, too. I bet... If we could actually start up vanilla bingo races again, people would enjoy it. It's a uh, double anti bingo. All right, so I think it is maybe, I mean, it's possible to get out either way by uh, going down or going up. I think going up might be faster. Plus it's more content. And so who can say no to more content? Couldn't be me. We still have to uh, have to climb back up King's Station, which is not pleasant, but should be doable. I didn't didn't test, so maybe I shouldn't speak speak too soon. But I think this will be fine. D gate just in case. Now, please be cooperative. Oh. 
please. Please. There. Yeah, it's not too bad. It's just a little slow. Alright, so now the only reason why I'm coming back here is because I I'm a little baby and I do want to have fragile heart for Abyss. For the second shade skip. Oops. Seems a lot like Lockout, except that, um, except that instead of being able to compete for multiple goals, you can only compete for one. I don't know. That just feels like subject to the same snowball effect as Lockout, but worst. Worse, not worst. It could work for vanilla, though. Yeah, I don't think that blind formats like that really help much, because the uncertainty just tends to favor the player in the lead anyways. Low insomnia. No. This is a consensual existence now that the past hour is behind me. The past hour, not so consensual. about to say I almost hit the spikes. I was proud of myself for dodging them. That's why it's always good to not speak. So you can't get into trouble that way. That's right. I will leave my dream gate in abyss and We'll be done with this wretched place. <laughs> For <laughs> frankly, I'm glad that I only had to do three basin trips. That's true. It would be really cool if you could get wings without claw in this game. Oh, whoops! Not an optimized. Abyss drop. You hate to see it. This is one that annoys me because if you could skip this shade skip right here, then um then you would not soft lock at shade click. Because, um, like, if you only had to do one, one shade skip, you could just enter Abyss twice. It's the fact that you have to do two shade skips. That means you have to put Dream Gate after the first one. Oops. Yeah, this is a really easy shade skip, too. It's super close to being doable. Without. <laughs> Classic Abyss music. You love to see it. Uh, the second one is in the Shade Cloak Room. We will be seeing it momentarily. The abyss is about to become home, so uh 
It should be comfy. I'm gonna put it down here. Uh, basically, music gets overwritten by triggers. Especially since Dreamgate wasn't around for the initial, uh, initial round of uh, QA testing. They probably missed that it doesn't check for those kinds of triggers. That was a mistake, actually. Unfortunately, I have... Oh wait, actually I, I, I made two mistakes. Um, so the first mistake was I, I didn't set up the eight mask shades skip. I forgot to equip Fragile Heart. The second ma second mistake was I didn't fill up on soul. So. Yeah, Dreamgate storage gives you um, invincibility. Uh, Dream Dreamgate storage shouldn't be confused with Dream Nail storage. Though. Dream Nail storage is what you do to regain control after Dream Warriors, that sort of thing. But yeah, so using the map like that after Dreamgate is a major glitch. It does uh, break the game in a few ways. You know what would be easier than a soul catcher, which is horrible? Dream Wilder. I can just grab one of the enemies. I could have just grabbed that husk there, but I was like, yeah, I could just grab this guy. Oops. Hello? Seems a little too abstract to me. Uh, after all, it's not like we're going to birthplace. We are just going to shape click. All right, that wasn't close. I think coming up with good names is really hard, though. So. Right, like the clawless part is the essential thing. Oops. Alright, I think that... spent a lot of time labbing out how to get the parry off on this. Oops, I keep on falling down though, which is not good. I right, go ahead and burn the fireball. Come on. did I pass through the shape there? That absolutely looked like I should have gotten the deboost. Weird. <laughs> but yeah, the big thing at this point is just um, maintaining the self-control to not lose my uh, fourth hit for nothing. That did not work. Yeah, I think you are right, Insomnia. Oh, 
go ahead and bring the fireball. Oops, I mistimed that a little. I'm joking this a little, but actually I didn't practice this skip as much, or at least not not in the last couple of days. I've been focused a lot on Basin and Edge, so I'm not exactly surprised that I'm uh, that I'm having to uh, to remember some parts of it. Hello. Yeah, iframes are the big problem with shade skips in general. It's figuring out how to stall them out long enough without starting to fall. <laughs> All of these instant fireballs. You hate to see it. Yeah, part of the problem with the last couple is I got my initial parry with the shade super low. Which is not what you want. Like, yeah, you want the shade to be about that far up when it does the parry. And, like, following you closely. Oops. Well, that might have worked with the damage boost. Oops. Let's go reset the room. Yeah, there are some games where you can like you know, pause pause and uh, stall out iframes, which is really cool. Like um you see that a lot in like Cave Story speedruns, where you can open the map to uh to burn iframes. And do skips that way. I will be a little sad if I'm not able to get 90 minutes. <laughs> Running out of essence would be really, really disappointing. <laughs> and yeah, the, like this skip is... It literally is the end of the run. Um, So, it, it could take me another 20 minutes, but it is the end of the run. Okay, that wasn't high enough. Oops. Didn't quite stall the timer long enough. Give me the fireball. Yeah, this one is really janky just because you don't have much room to set it up. Oops. Uh. See, like I said, you don't even need the fourth hit. I was just afraid. Oh, that is GG. <laughs> Seven seconds short of 90 minutes. <sighs> yeah, that, yeah, that last Pogo. You, if I had a fireball left over, I could have um, like done like the uh, double dash with a fireball stall to get across. So yes, this is the end of the line. We get Shade Cloak and Arcane Egg and 
and life in the abyss forever. I mean, to be fair, if you, uh, explicitly left an extra fireball on the shade skip in order to, uh, Animosity fireball into the dish. Like, absolute respect. Oh, whoops. I did not mean to die there. That's okay. There is no rush anymore because we are in the abyss forever. So, yeah, actually, let me just go ahead and uh, add all of the splits so we can look at at the full extent of this run. So like the the really bad execution splits here were um right, Revic was horrible, right? Like that was just indefensible. I I um died in the wrong spot. I couldn't get the shade skip. The shade bullied me a little with the fireball. That was sad. Um King's Brand, actually, I think I did decently well in the Shade Skip there, and then the Aspid Pogo messed me up, which is definitely not what I expected. Yeah, and then Shade Cloak was 14 minutes, apparently, of bashing my head against the wall on that skip. So yeah, it is a long ways back up. Um, probably is possible to escape this room uh, with enough patience and persistence, I think. Um, obviously, you can't get to uh, can't get to Hidden Station without um, out something crazy. I, I don't know what, what's going on with that sibling. It, it seems to be on an adventure. That sibling also seems to be on an adventure as it crashes into the... Uh... What is it doing? What was that sound? Um... Well, remember that the all stag station skip is with vertical movements. Oh, it, it is a broken one, isn't it? I, I can't get high enough to see it. It's like, obviously, Longnail gives us... Yeah, it, it sure is. It just... It's, it's AI broke, and it is now just drifting on up. can't actually get up this this way. Yeah, obviously long nail is a huge asset here. If you were to try to climb the abyss this way. Or you could try to do Ushabti climb, but uh good luck doing an Ushabti climb without wings. certainly is weird that he's taking damage from the spikes, but, uh... Hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure if there's anything to be done here. <laughs> like... <laughs> what, what on earth? <laughs> Can you imagine if siblings actually had that much HP? That would be incredible. Ah, that's actually a pretty useful spot for the shade, I think. Is um Oh nope. 
why even bother, right? The shade thought it was a sibling. Oh, we're gonna get another fireball. Oops, that did not quite work out. But yeah, so I think it's like, this is basically Shade Skip and then do, like, the, the Lifeblood Core Pogo, basically. Where you go diagonally up the spikes. I'll try, try it one more time. This is... this this would be pretty messed up, but it definitely seems possible, because you can, you can get out of Abyss with only Claw or Wings uh, pretty easily. Or Claw plus Horizontal. I should say. So I, I would not be surprised if it were possible. And I have not spent any time actually testing whether it's possible to get out or not. This is legitimately my first time trying to do this climb. Whoops. No, no, no. Okay. I thought the shade was going to go right up into the spikes here. Whoops. A category where instead of um, <laughs> instead of getting Clawless Shade Cloak, you start at Clawless Shade Cloak and get out of this. <laughs> yes, cl clearly, clearly calculated to make sure Abyss couldn't possibly soft lock you. I believe in Team Cherry. Oh no, no. I do think that there is a lot of cool stuff to be done with Abyss Climb in Plando. Especially since, like, you can delete platforms or add platforms to... Um, to, like, to change up what items are required for it. It's such a big room, you could put multiple items in there and, like, have some interesting puzzles involved. Oops. it started. Now the worst would be if you get to the top. I, I don't even remember what's up there. But if you discover that you actually have to lure the shade up there from like while doing the spike bogo, that would be nightmarish. But another instant fireball. Yeah, like this definitely feels feels possible. I'm just sort of um, it's hard to focus on everything at once. Especially given like the the curve of the spikes. This is one of probably close to one of the tightest curves it's possible, I think. Yeah, see right there where it pokes. That's tricky to work around. <laughs> wow, actual Team Cherry lore. Straight from the game is that the floor of the abyss is all from knights who did call the shade cloak and couldn't escape. Oh, 
Oh, I think this is, I think this is lifeblood core. At least high enough for that. I actually don't know if lifeblood core is accessible without um without claw just because uh, there aren't or wait no never mind I was I was gonna say there aren't many cocoons you can get while doing the true end shade skip but actually uh, you can open the open the hatch under zero whoa <laughs> imagine actual spike hit boxes. That's absolutely possible, though, right? This is pretty close to the top, too. Oh yeah, that might that might be easier over there. So it's definitely possible. Yeah, imagine if Quick Slash and Mark of Pride were obtainable without Claw. I don't think either of them are. Um, I would believe Mantis Lords is possible, but the reward room for Mantis Lords uh, shouldn't be, I think. I'm not sure about Mantis Swords. Soul Master definitely isn't possible. <laughs> okay, I don't think that there's anything further up on that side, uh, if I remember the layout correctly. Who knows where my shade ended up, since uh, I do not hear music, which is not an inspiring sign. I think it might be higher up. Yeah, I'm also not sure you can actually die in Reward Room without Claw. Or that the shade is in a good, a good spot for it. If, if it is, then yeah, you might be able to get Mark of Pride. I can't remember if I actually tested it or not. got the upper bogos. Amazing. Oh, I hear it. And of course, once you do it once, it's it's free forever since <laughs> that's just how life is. is really far up, and the shade is really close by. There it is. Ooh. Is this going to be inside its leash, though? Alright, so this side is not inside the shade's leash. <laughs> I 
This is so much content. But actually, the stream gate will uh, let me bring the shade up because now I can. I can do this. Oops. Oh no. It's a race. It is a race that I just lost. If you can beat the shade and the race back to the top platform, then you can lure it to the right side and pogo up, I think. That's my plan. Uh, that's not gonna work. Oh, the fireball would have been so good if I had just committed to the... For once, a shade fireball would actually be exactly what I need to uh, to beat it. Um, I think the shade is leashed vertically, but the horizontal one is reached first usually. Nope, nope. Yes. Nope, nope, nope. It started doing a fireball. That's why it moved to the left, I think. Fireballs, the only thing that can interrupt a shade fireball is the leash. Guess that was the leash. Maybe not the play, if we're completely honest. Um, I doubt it would move the shade spawn. It's like all of these shade spawns are placed manually, so there probably aren't too many in the room. Frankly, sometimes it's surprising there are as many as there are. A nice fireball. I thought I had enough time for another pogo. This is really tricky. I, it, it feels very possible. I, I think there is just enough room for the the shade Boko to get you far enough up, maybe with the D boost. Oops. I was thinking that I could maybe um, force myself over the corner with the dash. You don't have to get as high when you have dash. Give me a ride back up to, uh, <laughs> back up to Crossroads, Hornet. 
want to be a friend toward it. That did not work, but I I, I would I mean the shade has to spawn like inside of the king's grand door, right? Like that's just a given. Because otherwise you would get locked out of your shade if you came died died somehow to these enemies. So you have to believe it's possible. Oh yeah, that's a super free. Oops. Oh, but yeah, I, I sort of set that up poorly because um, like really, you want to have the uh, the shadow creeper climbing up by the. Uh, by the end of it, I think. Yeah, I'm so <laughs> I'm I'm actually proud of that clawless climb. That was really cool. I'm completely ad libbed. Okay, so I think that you want to start the shape skip portion of it, like. Um, actually, one thing that I do think is true, especially since this guy respawns, is no reason not to uh, start it with full soul. Let me find one that I can actually dream now. Yeah, this guy. So thank goodness I left Dream Wielder on and not Soul Catcher. Don't even want to imagine trying to do all of this with, uh, with Soul Catcher. As your uh, soul gathering tool. Okay, so yeah, you don't want it to be going down when you. Yeah, I think this is good. Oh, I knew I had already hit it, so I didn't want to. Uh... <laughs> Yeah, if I hadn't hit the uh, Shadow Creeper when I got the parry off, I think it would have been recoverable. Yeah, this last part should definitely be doable, I think, unless... I don't know, the... Like, the entrance is pretty tall. It would be a real shame to make it all the way up and then not be able to get through the transition. So you got to think this is the last, um, the last shade spawn in the room. Okay, so I think I want it to be. A bit more on the way down. Up. Just gonna completely screw over my patient waiting. Oh, I w I realized like at the last moment that um. If I fireballed in the wrong direction, I was going to kill the, uh... It's gonna kill the Shadow Climber. So that, that was why I backed out of it and did, did a dash in the wrong direction. Oops. What is her name, by the way? It's Shadow Creeper, I think. I am not good at enemy names. I don't think anyone is. Shadow Creeper, good. All 
Alright, excellent. Yeah, this is... This is a tough one, though. This is... Like, this is definitely outside the Shade's Leash, right? I don't think it's possible. I think Team Terry forgot to put in the extra platforms from Rando, which, I mean, it happens. Obviously, Rando forgot to put in the extra platforms for the first few updates, but, uh, yeah, there's no way you get up with, like, even if it isn't outside the Shades Leash, like, that would require all of the Shades HP. Probably low FPS to get enough knockback to do it with uh, with three hits on the Shadow Creeper. Or, I mean, you didn't need Nail 1 to get Shade Cloak. Uh, you could have done the um, the Abyss Drop, or the Basin Shade Skip with uh, 8 HP. So if you did that, then... Um, yeah, if you did that, then... Uh, You could uh, get four Pogos off of the Shadow Creepers, which might be enough to uh, to not need the shade. But yeah, I don't think this is doable. I think that Hornet got bored and left me too. Yeah, Hornet got bored. Yeah, so in any case, we still got to the top of Abyss, which is pretty, pretty cool in its own right. <laughs> Good for you. Go get some sleep. Still soft locked. <laughs> I don't think we were ever not going to be soft locked, since even at the top, there was still hidden station. But uh, and this is pretty far up to have been able to uh, climb with shade skips. So. What does the tablet say? We have. We have left what was in there. Or we shall visit this place no longer. And now it's that, but in reverse. <laughs> oh god. I mean, what, this is an extra 40 minutes on top of the run? I am not Chinese fluent. I, I remember what the English tablet says. Who knows what it how faithfully it was translated, but I, I don't, um, <laughs> yeah, this is the pure vessel tablet, but yeah, well, well while that abyss climb is super cool, I would hate to have to do all of that nightmare to get Shade Cloak and then another 40 minutes of uh, of those really janky Shade Skips to, to get up to this lore template. Like, I think that would be a cool IL, maybe. Like, that could actually, actually be a good uh, HK memes IL uh, climb from... Uh, from Shade Cloak up to uh, the Lore Tablet with only Shade Cloak and VS. I guess six masks. I, I I don't know how you would uh how you would agree on what the the base items are for that category, but uh I mean I think it would be even with you know optimal and not like fishing around for skips the way I was. I think it would still be uh like at least twenty minutes of. Dream Gate, Shade Skip, Dream Gate, Shade Skip, Spike Tunnel, Shade Skip. All right, then. Now, I may get tempted into another rando later on tonight. Oh, yeah, Nell 1D Wielder, too. <laughs> I think it is possible that I will get tempted into a rando later on tonight, but uh, I think I will take a break after that and uh, cool off because that was super intense and 
an absolutely ridiculous category that I'm really glad actually works and is possible. Yeah, I'm, I'm just super excited that, that that actually somehow was, everything worked out. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna pressure Conrad to run this. I bet she could smash this time too, because she's, uh, she's really good at this kind of skip, I think. And it, it might even be the case too that Marmu is faster. I don't really know, but um, yeah, I would definitely love to see this be a thing because uh, I'm what a cool category, just completely different from literally everything else. Uh, kind of so different that like ordinary execution doesn't feel as important when you can just you know lose fifteen minutes because you're not getting the the shade skip set up, but I don't feel like there's much RNG at all to this, other than like shade fireballs. <laughs> it it really is like great hopper percent crossed with T. This this is the you know, baby T. It's literally almost all of the essence that you can get, barring Marmu. And yeah, Marmu is pretty crazy. You have to uh, get dash slash on one two two one. Uh, with the Great Hopper Shade Skip, uh, which you have to do before actually the King's Brand Shade Skips because you don't have Dreamgate before Marmu. Then you have to go all the way through QG by lever skipping in. It's really long, and then like about where the Toll Bench is, you have to do an absolutely crazy pogo onto M Mantis Petra projectiles to get up. It's really painful, but you can get like three Petras lined up firing projectiles concurrently and just climb up like a ladder. Uh, then after that, you have to do the uh, the arena, of course, and then in the next room, you have to do a really tough uh, Moss Fly Pogo. Oh yeah, I, I bet you could Shade Skip that too, especially if you had six masks. But... Um... Obviously, you can't do too many shade skips because uh, you don't have Dreamgate, so your best starting point is the Toll Bench, so you can't actually do the the shade skip in that um, that big room next to the Stag Station. So yeah, QG is just really brutal. It's probably faster than you know, the horrible Spirit's Glade strategy I was doing this time, but uh, no, one, no one wants to do. Spirits glade like that. It's it. I'm sorry. No one wants to do QG. No one wants to do Spirits glade either. But uh, Spirits glade is right next to a bench, so I could fail it for eight minutes, and I was never far away from resetting. <laughs> 